the column chromatography, we need to start with the packing of the column. And you start with the five gram of silicon gel, put it in a beaker, and then put about uh, 50 ml hexins to make a slurry. The 50 ml is uh, roughly, if you use a 10 ml or 40, even 40 ml, that's also fine. And you stir, make sure the silicon gel suspended very well in the beaker. And uh, after that, you need to have your column ready. So get a clean, dry column. Pack with a small piece of cotton. Use a glass rod to push the cotton to the bottom. And then, put a thin layer of the sand on top of the cotton. This cotton is not a flat yet. So, so just to make sure the cotton surface is relatively flat, and on top of that, you pour the sand. And then you tap a little bit. Make sure the sand has a flat surface. And after that, you clamp it. Okay, clamp it to the arm stand. And now this is about time you can add a hexane solvent. Hexane is the least polar solvent in today's parliament. So we start with the least polar one. And use a cock ring to tap it. Make sure you have a flat surface. And then drain the solvent a little bit. And at this point, we are about to add a silicon gel slurry. And you make sure you have about one third of the hexans in your column. And you shake, 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 or stir the slurry. And make sure it's mixed very well. And then right, try to dump it through the funnel into your column. And make sure the solvent doesn't overflow. And you open the stopper. And you see the silicon gel start to settle down in the column. And at this time, you need to tap your column with a cock ring or a rubber stopper that also works. So this step will make sure the silicon gel pack nice and tight and evenly. So you can use a little bit of air to push the solvent through the column. This will make the illusion much faster. So you attach the adapter to this air hose. And then open the orange well on the side of your hood. And you hold this stopper on top of your column. And then like a gently touch it. And the air pressure will push the hexans flow much faster. So we have uh, some hexans left, and then now we start to load the remaining silicon gel. It's harder to pour all the silicon gel into the column at once, so you can put some hexans back. This hexan is still clean, so you can reuse it, and then make sure the silicon gel mix very well, and you suspend it. And then dump it quickly through the glass panel. Overflow. <laughs> Since this is our last portion of the silicon gel, and it's okay to remove the funnel after that. And then do the same thing as you did before. Use a cock ring to tap the column gently. And after 
Now most of the silicon gel settle down on the bottom. You can use the air to push it. Watch the air. So adjust the air flow, not too much, otherwise the solvent will spill everywhere. We need that hexans to do the next step to load a second layer of sand. And notice before you do that, your silicon gel surface should be nice and flat. If you have an irregular surface, do the same. Use your cock ring to tap it. Make sure the surface is nice flat. And then you have your sand ready in the wing paper. And you pull it gently and slowly through the top of the um, glass column. And the hexans will hold the sand and then lower it down slowly to the surface of the silicon gel. So you'll have a nice flat surface. And don't pull your sand too hard or too quick. And now we can put more hexes. Okay, so at this step we finish the packing. And the next step is to do the sample loading. And uh, before you actually start to load any sample, you make sure your solvent surface is touch the surface of the sand. So to do that, we need to use air to push the solvent through. So the hexane surface is going to reach the sand and now need to be very careful. And uh, now we need to remove the air pressure and then let me raise the column a little bit so you can see it clear. So this is the surface of the sand and this is the surface of the solvent and they kind of touch each other. And this is the position you want before you start loading any sample. So we have the column ready and the next is to prepare your unknown solution. Your unknown is provided in a little vial and don't forget to take the weight of the vial and the sample together. You need to calculate the recovery rate. So we have the unknown ready and we use the least amount of methylene chloride to dissolve it. Methylene chloride is a polar, it's a medium polarity solvent. So if you use too much methylene chloride, that will pull your compound down the column without any separation. So make sure you use uh, roughly about a 0 0.2 to 0.5 mil methylene chloride. So now the sample solution is ready. And I take the solution through the glass pipette. And then load the sample around the inside wall of your column. So the sample layer will stay evenly. And then open the stopper to drain the solvent. And then let the sample go through the sand layer to absorb on your silicon gel. At the same time, you can add a little bit of hexanes to rinse your sample. Okay. So we have about uh, one mil hexanes in the vial to rinse the vial and rinse the pipette. And you add the rinsing to this column. Hexanes 
accents is non-polar, so if you add too much accents, that's okay. It's not going to separate the compounds, bring the compounds down. are absorbed on the silicon gel. Now it's about time to actually elude your sample. 